Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back. Once again, another reaction for you guys. So, I have a confession to make. <laughs> I did not finish watching the first season of The Witcher. I know what you're thinking. What is wrong with me? I'm not sure, but the ghost, my wife, has started to figure out that there is a 50% chance if we both start watching a new show or if I start watching a new show, I may not finish it. I don't know what it is. I don't, I'm not sure why. But they dropped the season two teaser for The Witcher, and I really enjoyed the first five episodes. So I watched episode six last night, I watched episode seven this morning, and now we're here to the finale. And I say, you know what? Instead of me just watching this and then getting to the trailer, how about I just record my reaction to the finale? Because it's the finale of the first season. I'm enjoying it so far, even though I stopped watching it a long time ago. <laughs> Finally picking it back up. I was like, you know what? Let me just check it out and see the finale of The Witcher. Season 1, Episode 8, much more. Almost an hour long. Um, this show has been kind of crazy with the multiple timelines we're following here. And um, at times, you're not really sure where we are in the timeline until like, oh, okay, so they referenced something, so now we know where, we are, where we're at most of the time. So I'm, I'm liking this show. I'm liking how, the, how they're um, expanding on the story and how they're handling these characters. Now, they have said Season 2 is going to be more linear and that there's not going to be jumping all over the place. I'm assuming there'll be some sort of flashbacks and stuff to maybe set up something, but they're saying it's supposedly, from what I'm understanding, more linear and there's not going to be like jumping around and all that kind of stuff, but it makes sense because this story has a lot of things going on. Uh, oh, it's playing. <laughs> it's playing. It just started playing the episode. Stop. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> but, um... But I'm I'm curious to see what they do with this episode because um there, there there's been a lot of build up and uh, there's certain things that, that I think they're leading to with this season but I'm not sure yet they might be holding on for season two but uh, Henry Cavill as Geralt it, it's so good him as this character I think he is performing it so well at times I'm like holy crap Henry. <laughs> Like, I, I, he was good from what I saw within the first five episodes before I stopped, but now picking it back up again for episode six and seven, wow. <laughs> so I'm curious to see where they go with certain things. This show definitely is intense, and uh, yeah, I'm just ready. Let's get into it, and then I'm going to jump into this to check out that season two teaser, because I don't want to watch it, because I wouldn't know what the hell's going on. I'd be like, what? Because I, I didn't finish the last three episodes. So let's get into this episode now and check it out. The finale of season one of The Witcher, finally I'm checking it out now. Let's go. If I was a robber, I'd be taking their belongings. Butcher. If I was a butcher, you'd be amongst the corpses. Hmm. I like that. I was going home to my family when I came upon these... Look at these people. Innocent people. Killed for what? Something. Oh, God can have more land. Oh. Okay. Don't argue with him. He's telling you to go because you're going to die. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. That's not the end. Come on. Come on now. We know. Damn. He falls over. trust anybody that tries to help her. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust anyone. Logos. It, okay. I think it, I think I know what they're doing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You have to make a choice to fight back. Make a choice. It's all about choices. You know, you having your own choices, people making choices for you. Good question. I don't know. Okay, thanks. <laughs> that was pretty cool. We did. I enlisted a witcher. Geralt of Rivia. I often wonder where fate took him. 
Hmm. So are you ready? No. Oh, well, maybe. Today. Maybe not that, no. <laughs> you still have so much left to give. Yeah, this whole thinking of, well, I'm not been happy, so might as well die. No, come on. But we cannot combat our no magic. We have magic too. Without rules or restrictions. Hmm. Cause she doesn't trust anybody. Can't you see she's been, she's been betrayed she's more than once. Nice. Come on. Okay. So this... You die when you do this. You just had two people sacrifice themselves for nothing. Good job. Okay. Missed. Missed. <laughs> Let's see. Who's this random guy? Okay. He picked him up. Saved him. Okay. Oh. Poison them. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Book of Hordes, now. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's gonna die. She already told him to s slow down. Well, she told you, man. She told you. Oh. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Okay. I won't let you do this. You're worth more you than might your not be able to stop her. What in the fuck is that? Yeah. Just abandon him? Ooh. Okay, you handed them those files. What are they doing with them? Betrayer. Fucking betrayer. I should have known. God damn it. I was like, what's happening? Oh. Oh, exactly. I'm surprised you're still alive. I'm not going to lie. What? Hmm. So hallucinating. She do it though? Maybe. This is your legacy. How? Oh, I can't. Well, you can. Well, the Jennifer is not the young god. Sorry, you chose power. Nice. Do you actually have what it takes? Wow. Holy crap.
Wow. Holy shit. Still don't trust her. Uh, something's up. You know what I mean? There's always something. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? Oh, yes. You need to do this. Come on. Come on. <laughs> something. Did you hear him? Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? She was right there. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Face to face. Hug it out. Gotta hug it out. Oh, come on. Really? Is that it? There you have it, guys. Finally, I finished season one of The Witcher. <laughs> I finally finished it. So, this episode was definitely interesting. I wasn't expecting it to go this direction in terms of wrapping up this first season. I mean, the last thing we saw, Siri and Geralt actually coming together and actually seeing each other, hugging it out. Like, I understand that point. Because you spend the whole season building up this idea where he's supposed to be protecting her and then doing flashbacks and then establishing where he was during all these different times. Like, there were certain things going on that you you saw certain angles of an event and then there's like a flashback to give you more information. There's now that Geralt was actually near her more than we actually thought. And as the story progressed, we saw more and more like, oh, he was right there. And the queen lied to him and had some other girl pretending to be her. Uh, to say, well, yeah, he well, she'll go with you, and she's lying, you know, of course. and then he figures it out, because he's like, your highness, and it's like, oh, so they actually come face to face, they actually see each other, and her first question, after they hug it out, her first question is, who's Jennifer? He's like, well, and then cut to black, <laughs> it makes sense, though, but, uh, because I, I don't know where I don't know where else you can progress this final episode after they meet, unless there's some other big thing that they can end on, but I'm not really sure because we've been building up to this moment for quite some time. So we have this big war going on where they're protecting this castle, this kind of, you know, I would say fortress castle, but it's like, a, you know, it's like a castle. Sure. Whatever. And Yennefer and the, they're using magic and it's really cool. It's really interesting and some great action throughout this. I wish Geralt was more in it. I mean, that opening sequence where he was saving that guy, which turns out to be the husband of of the woman that finds Syria, like, like what? Like as soon as she runs away, he shows up on the, on the cart with the husband. I'm like, wait, wait, wait a second. Like, cause, cause she mentioned, cause the woman mentions her husband and all of a sudden then it's, it's like, it, it's like fate. It's destiny. They were all, they were meant to like, it was, it was all meant to happen. I guess it was pretty crazy how that worked out. But, um, so the, anyways, back to the, the Unifer side of the story. So, okay, I'm still thinking of that ending there. So, Yennefer is basically holding off and, like, letting people know where soldiers are and other, you know, mages, or I think they're called mages, whatever. Uh, but they're using their abilities, and one touches the ground. I forget, I, I'm bad with names, don't kill me. So, lays her hands on the ground, and these, like, poisonous mushrooms grow out of the ground around a group of, uh, of soldiers, and they die instantly like it's brutal um there's um then they have this ability where they have i think like they were using like one rock and then doing some sort of magic overlaying uh, uh the vials with these blue rocks and then they were slinging them and then they had archers firing and then they were exploding causing some pretty nasty damage and that course ends up being used against themselves because there's some sort of casket that gets dropped this like this like evil I guess mage or whatever comes in and drops this this casket this little casket opens up and there's like these black eel looking things and it causes one of the one of the mages who were there I, I, I'm sticking with the word mages if if I'm wrong don't kill me I, <laughs> I'm sorry there's a lot of information I'm trying to learn while watching the show so don't kill me if I'm messing up something using two kids and herself they start. Like the kids drop the vials and cause the giant explosions and she goes and stabs Jennifer. Pretty messed up stuff. Like, ah, betrayal. But then I'm like, oh, it's those things. They were in the ear causing them to do stuff they weren't, uh, they didn't want to do. Um, 
But yeah, and then at the end there, Yennefer was able to use her magic to pull the fire that was burning and then spread it out and just destroy everything. Like, it was brutal. But but she was able to kind of stop the fire from killing um, the woman who basically raised her and taught her magic. And I believe all the other mages that may have still been alive at that point um, were also protected as well, maybe. Because everyone was pretty much dying. And then she's gone. She disappeared. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm guessing she's okay. I don't know. But, like, they can't find her. She's gone. She just disappeared. She was on top of that rock, this fantastic fire sequence, and then she's gone. Remind me of, like, a Fire Lord Ozai in Avatar Last Airbender. <laughs> Um, I wish Geralt was in more of the episode, but when they did flash, to, like flash to him or get to him in the episode and he was having these like hallucinations flashbacks, it was interesting to see his mother. I'm assuming that was his mother. Cause I mean, she abandoned him. And then when he run, he comes across, well, he doesn't really come across her because he's having hallucinations. Uh, the woman that actually left him on the doorstep to be trained to become a witcher. And he's like, did you know a three out of 10 boys survive the trial? But his mother abandoned him. I'm wondering why. Why? Or maybe that was the same woman that was in the cart. It's confusing. Yeah, look, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She used magic. So maybe. But um, maybe, maybe, maybe I should like rewatch that and kind of make sure I get the connection right. Or look into it and make sure I'm right on that. But anyways, abandons him. Abandon him. Like I, 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 I should have known that was going to happen because... Of the fact that I need to stop. Why? Go get some more. I need some water. Mm hmm. Sure, you do. And that's funny. The Witcher just popped up on my Netflix on my TV. The Witcher. That's cool. All the logos that they use throughout the episodes come in and form The Witcher. That was cool. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else in particular that I need to mention. Now, that one guy who had that fight, he killed that one dude. Why? Like, he. I thought he was dead. He fell down the hill and then he grabs that like mace and just whacks the guy in the head. I'm like, what? Why did you do that? I don't fucking know. There's some, there's some things in this show. I'm like, what in the hell is going on? <laughs> but overall, I'm glad that I finished watching the first season of the show. I felt like it, um, it definitely delivered and had some pretty crazy things. My only wish that Geralt was in more of it, but then again, it was more of a Yennefer episode and for her to shine and then for finally to, for Geralt and Ciri to meet. And then that's where we end it until season two, which is the teaser I'm going to check out after this. So what do you guys think of the final episode of season one of The Witcher? I'm curious to know your thoughts and uh, what do you hope to see in season two? I'm about to go watch the trailer now, so hopefully we'll get to see some cool stuff. Anyways, talk to you guys soon. Peace out.